Welcome to Spaces of Lucidity. Uh, this is my section of the show. I'm Anurag. Welcome to the first season. I hope you had a nice week with uh, Abhishek and Maitre. And yeah, so this is uh, basically a show where we might talk about anything, whether it's you know it's our city, uh, news, ideas we like, people we met, you know, write about anything. Just as long as you you know give us some feedback and you know we can build on it. So where did this idea come from? You know where where we are talking about this word lucidity. You know, of having this one space of clarity. The whole idea behind this is to have a zone where all thoughts are valid, where you know nothing is a taboo. Because the whole point is we are for far too long we are it's we tend to see media as you know a certain box and everything has to fit within it. Here we are trying to look beyond this so-called box and look at all the avenues of thought where all ideas are sort of valid and we would like to discuss it through. And yeah, so as the pilot show, the first thing I would like to talk about are ideas. And I believe ideas are like small creatures, you know, independent in their own right. They sort of flow through our collective consciousness, or you know, through the ages. They sort, you know, they tend to evolve, get better, and the bad ideas just die out. Ideas are something that you know, no one can ever claim to be completely their own, especially in this age of uh, patents and copyrights. we tend to have this kind of belief that an idea is solely ours and i personally believe it's it is not possible to have an idea without all our you know it exists as a culminate of all our experiences our society and what we have faced and with this i think the best example of an idea that you know has that has survived through the generations you know survived like thousands of years and, and has always been a strong part of human consciousness has been the idea of freedom So what is freedom? You know, we talk about this word. We hear it a hundred times. It's like the mainstay of America, freedom. But what the hell is this word? And what the hell is this idea? I have tried to look at this idea as this concept of us being allowed to be as we are. It, you know, it is something much larger than the concept of nations. It's something much larger than the concept of you know a people or a place or bound to a geographical location. or even words this is something that exists inherently in all of us the idea that we choose to be who we are and the freedom to the freedom to be just that but where does this lead us today are we really free you know i i think many of us have a various versions and very different answers to this particular question but what i i like to specifically point out is what can what are we allowed to say like if freedom has a little has certain boundaries and if freedom has to be you know put in a certain box so that it doesn't overflow and you know hurt others where do we draw the line and i think the most overused line is censorship it doesn't make any sense to me if a person is not allowed to say what he wants to i think we live in a world that is truly messed up and where we really are bounded in chains because censorship is something that divides us of a entire chain of thought the point is somebody says something offensive just ignore it man is it, is that that hard is it so difficult for us to you know are we so easily offended you know do words hurt us so much that ah he said that i have heard it so i must shut him up forever why can't we just ignore it is it that hard especially coming from a country where we are told yes non violence peace bro everything should be you know dealt with satyagraha and we can't ignore words you know this is one country where the freedom of speech has probably the longest list of you know do's and do nots so as to achieve this freedom of speech one will have a really hard time to have like an really original debate or a clean debate on religions and politics in this country where you know having a thought that is kind of radical is seen almost as rebellion as a matter of fact the concept of censorship is so inherent that today i have friends who are scared to put up status updates regarding you know politicians because they're scared that they'll get arrested we uh, we live we live in a country where you can get arrested on a status update ki yeah ain't that fun so anyway the point i'm trying to make is so we have censorship controlling our so called freedom of literally thought you know since because if you control speech and media you control thought and you know this reminds me of you know something my grandmom said you are what you eat 
so i think this goes to our consumption of ideas too thing is on every day as we live our daily lives we are constantly consuming ideas some good ones some bad ones whether we use products that are advertised or things we like or you know paintings we uh, see or music we hear we are constantly consuming ideas and the ideas we consume define us and at this point if you start limiting these this base of what we consume i think it's like you know denying us a entire chain of thought or entire line of thinking that just vanishes because of censorship we are the ideas that we consume we are constantly consuming ideas throughout our lives every single day as we go out whether we listening to music watching tv doing whatever and it is it is these ideas that you know like really bother me mass media is hell bent on telling us that yes you need to friggin consume you need to consume everything you lay your hands on you need to consume women you need to consume products you need to consume products so that you can consume women and women need to consume products so that they can get themselves a man they can use to buy more consumed products which inherently are ideas so we are constantly being told what to consume in the context of whether ideas or products and my problem is how do we know what we are consuming is really good for us because hell ideas are just you know evolving sometimes right sometimes wrong or sometimes just to make it that's what i had to say i hope you enjoyed the the last 5 minutes uh click subscribe if you want to keep in touch with us uh we also have a mini documentary series and mini video series that we like to launch every weekend so yeah keep in touch uh see you next week and have a great weekend thank you